In the Using Insert Effects video, we talked about adding effects to specific tracks in a project, and this is a good approach for EQing or compressing specific tracks. But there are some situations where it's advantageous to have the ability to run multiple tracks into a single effect, and there's a couple reasons why you'd want to do that. The first reason is because some effects tend to use a lot more computer resources than others, particularly reverbs. For example, if you had recorded eight tracks of backing vocals, it wouldn't make sense to use a separate reverb effect on each vocal track. It would make far more sense to run all eight tracks into a single instance of reverb. You'd save a lot of computer horsepower, and since you want the same effect combined in all the tracks, it would be easier to control. When you send multiple tracks to a single instance of an effect using an analog mixing console, this is often referred to as sending to a bus. In Mixcraft, we have a special kind of track for accomplishing this called a send track. To add a send track, you can just press the plus track button over here and select add send track, and you'll see a send track appears. To use our send track, first we'll need to add an effect to it. So we'll click the effects button over here, and I'm going to choose acoustic reverb, and then I'll choose a reverb preset. I'm going to go with very large room. And then I'm going to close the effect list window, and I'd like to point out something interesting. If I click the mixer tab over here, see this red knob right here? That's a send knob for the effect. Now if I delete the send track, you'll see the knob goes away. So the send knob only becomes visible when you add a send track. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to play this track over here, which is a simple beat. And this send knob right here will send it to the effect. And you can see over here where the meters are reading. And you can adjust the master volume of the send effect over here. So think of this as an input level control to the effect and think of this as a master output. Now what's really neat is I can go to this track over here, we'll unmute that, and that's a cowbell because everything needs more cowbell. And over here is a send level for that track. So I can add that to the reverb. And best of all, we have independent control of how much of each is sending to the effect. Now we have no reverb on the main drum beat, but our cowbell is still going strong. One important thing to be aware of is that the Mixcraft mixer only displays one send knob at any given time. Let's say, for example, you've created three send tracks. If I look at the mixer page, you can see there's only one knob displayed. So how do we select which send track we'll be sending signal to from a given channel? If you look over here where it says send channel, right here it shows which send track the red knob at the top of the mixer strip is sending to at any given time. So for example, right now it says send one reverb. So that's this send right here. And if I wanted to change to this send over here, I can click the little pop-up menu, and here's send to. And now these knobs are representing signal being sent to this send right here. You can use this pop-up menu to send signal to as many send tracks as you like. Send tracks are really flexible and usable in a lot of mixing scenarios, but they're commonly used for bussing many tracks to a time domain effect like a reverb like I showed, or perhaps a delay or a chorus. Another really useful way to use send channels is to set up a stereo compressor and send a group of vocals or drums to them so they can be commonly compressed together. And this tends to glue things together for a really nice, professional, homogenous sound.